now that we are fetching board's data successfully uh, now let's display the user information over here okay so we'll put uh, that information here so let's create uh, yeah just like menu so we'll create another menu there and this will be displayed if logged in yeah that's correct uh, now we'll replace it with okay we need to replace it with username so uh, currently we don't have uh, user related data so uh, first let's uh, fetch that so i'll do request to axios get and let's take a look at our api first so let's go to web.php so while building api we uh, we do not have this uh, route to fetch the user data according to token so here i've created a new route get route uh, which will accept the token and according to that token it will fetch the user and return that user to us so i'll uh, make request to this endpoint so after getting response we'll assign uh, it to our user property so let's define that user property just below board and then we'll assign this user to whatever response we'll be getting so response dot dot data dot user correct route so that will be user yeah users users and then we need to provide token and we'll uh, remove this extra console log from we don't need them refresh okay there we get data user and if you see in view tab we are getting yeah we are getting uh, right data so now uh, we can use this data to populate whatever we want here okay inside app uh, dot view now that we have uh, user data now we can use that user dot user name okay okay we need a uh, logout link here okay now it looks uh, good okay instead of this we text we'll use router link to home and this will be title and let's make tag span okay before going further let's uh, refactor our code and the first thing uh, we have this link so this base link will be used everywhere also we have this uh, checking for token everywhere like in all view all components so if token then logged in something like that so first step is to yeah let's uh, wrap this inside uh, make this separate method so the uh, the work of this function is to fetch user so let's cut that out and this dot fetch user data and let's create that method Let's 
put everything inside here. And so this bit of code so uh, the, this bit of code is checking if uh, user is uh, logged in so uh, since we need this token everywhere in all view uh, it's it's good to make this uh, the global variable so let's do that so to make this global variable I'll go to our root instance main.js and here I will assign new variable so window dot token equals to local stories get item the name of item is token okay now we don't need this token uh, everywhere also uh, let's make it so this is our uh, base URL so it is good to make this uh, Windows global variable as well since we'll be using this everywhere to make our Ajax request so copy that into main.js duplicate this and I'll call it base URL base API URL that will be good and now we can remove it from here and use base API URL okay so yeah everything works fine okay after that uh, refactor uh, we can uh, we can go to the board single board view and yeah so it looks good here as well so uh, let me show you one problem so if uh, so if someone visits uh, this link directly uh, like or if someone refresh this page uh, we can see uh, the boards no longer uh, fetching so the problem is currently uh, the board component is passing data to app component to load these boards uh, we don't want that so app is app is our root component so currently uh, we have uh, the structure a component component structure something like this so inside app every other component is loaded so app is our root for now and so what we are doing is we are uh, fetching the boards in our board and then passing it to app so what uh, the problem actually here is uh, if someone loads this link directly it will only load this single board component so as you can see boards component is not get under getting loaded that's why we do not get data here so to fix that what we can do is we can uh, fetch uh, the data every uh, the related data which we require here into our app component so uh, the code uh, let's transfer the code to fetch data uh, from board start view to app dot view okay we'll need it here as well so yeah let's cut it out and refactor it so fetch ports data so let's call it fetch data yeah fetch ports data and we'll create that method everything inside there. so yeah boards loading 
and now so uh, we'll need exact same function in our app dot view methods just put below this and here we'll call this dot fetch boards data now refresh it should work fine yeah it worked fine let's go to single page and refresh yeah it works fine and with that uh, now we don't need this uh, boards loaded event because we are already loading it here so let's remove that and inside our boards we don't need to emit this boards loaded event and also uh, if there is no token we are uh, redirecting user to login page so this code should be yeah should be inside app view because that is the root component which will be loaded first so uh, it doesn't make sense to put it here so we don't need to fetch like this token just remove it from here and go to app.view and we'll check at the beginning so let's refactor it I'll cut it out and this start direct to login guest to login so guest is not logged in user okay so let's create that method okay so if user is not logged in uh, these um, these code will not be executed because we are returning this response here we are returning to uh, push that user to login page yeah you can test that out let's copy this link and open it in incognito okay yeah that works fine okay with that in place uh, now we don't need to check for if token because we are returning if user is not logged in, we are returning it to login page okay now everything uh, is dynamic but uh, this card single page so let's fetch uh, all related cards in here from our database so for that let's go to single uh, single board view okay in our single board component also we need uh, the board related data so uh, the way we are structuring our data is we are facing boards and since we have defined the relationship between boards cards and list we are facing all of them so let me show you api i made some changes in our board controller yes so when so when we uh, make request to fetch all of the boards we are uh, loading these relationships so list and card so that way we will get board and a related list and card into it okay so uh, here also we'll fetch uh, data so as you can see we are uh, we are uh, using this fetch boards data in many places so i think it is uh it is good time to uh extract this into a separate mixin okay so let's create a mixin so uh, that will be inside source uh, mixins okay after that is created we need to export it and I'll create a method 
so that method will be a fetch boards data so cut that out into here okay so to use that mixin we need to import it here so import import data mixin from we need to specify our path so since we are inside app uh, we need to go inside mixins and then board data mix and to use after importing that we need to use it like mixins and specify array then board data mixin okay so let's take a look go to home page yeah boards it loading so that means everything is working now let's put us uh, uh, let's import that in our other component like in board component board start view and here I will import that but uh, boards, is, uh, boards is inside component so we need to go one folder up and then into mixins then board data mixin so mixins board data okay so we don't need this method okay everything will be same okay so now let's use same mixing in our single board so I'll copy this into single board and I'll use that mixing here comma there yeah okay so so now uh, after uh, the component is created will fetch boards data this dot fetch board data and we need to define boards here make it empty by default okay already we got boards okay so now now we don't need to hard code these uh, so inside v list uh, will we don't need to uh, yeah inside this v flex we don't need to look like this instead uh, we'll look through a uh, card in actually that is list list in lists okay now we need to define this lists and next let's define method I'll call that uh, get lists okay we don't need that event there so boards uh, so boards got lists and each list uh, got 
cards so uh, we, we we have all data we need to display uh, so we don't need to fetch anymore and what I will do is according to route parameter for example if someone visits on board number 3 we are getting route parameter like board ID here and uh, we'll uh, filter through these board and only uh, get the cards for board ID 3 and then we'll display it here okay so here we go boards and we'll only uh, filter the boards uh, with ID board for ID 3 actually uh, list for board uh, number 3 so I'll loop through this board and only fetch that so we have uh, array map function that we can use so get list uh, this dot boards which will be array and then map now call it board and here uh, we'll get board id from uh, so we'll get that board id from uh, route parameter so when it is created we'll assign that this dot board id equals to star this route parameter so now uh, here i'll check so if uh, board dot id is equals to this dot board id uh, if that uh, that matches our list uh, this dot list equals to board dot list yeah so board okay slightly modify that so route parameter so parameter name is id it's the problem let's see okay board start lists okay now we have defined uh, the method to filter uh, uh, filter all of the list according to our route parameter board ids which we'll be getting from our route parameter uh, now uh, we need to call this function so uh, we'll call that function inside so after uh, boards data is fast uh, we, we need to call that function so yeah, for a moment uh, i'll just copy it from here into my single board view and inside methods i will define that method boards data and after boards is fast and assigned I will call that function get list so I need to call this here otherwise this board will be not defined and this map will not work so at the moment yeah, we don't need mixins here let's remove that and let's take a look refresh okay no errors let's see okay okay so now we are getting so since uh, this route parameter is taken as string if we use this three equal sign uh, it will not this two will work fine or uh, you can do is you can cast that into integer or parse that into integer so for now that will work so we are facing data and after data is fast we are assigning uh, calling this catalyst function which will uh, check through all of the board and if uh, it founds some board uh, board that that's id is matched with the route parameter id which id we are passing here it will assign uh, the uh, list to uh, this list property and from there we can get card or name of list okay now that we are getting uh, lists what uh, we can do is 
up here so list in lists uh, we can yeah put it name of list there so list dot name let's take a look yeah lumen board view board laravel board fine okay so uh, next we need to add uh, put all of the cards here here uh, we have this flex which will be list and this list will be the card and everything inside here is each card okay I'll uh, cut this code and I will make new component co called board card okay yeah uh, board card and then I'll pass I'll pass uh, list yeah this list and now uh, we need to define this board card component and let's define it so I'll save it as board card and let's paste the code which we copied from there and in here we just need card variable and for now uh, let's just remove everything else and in items Uh, now that we define this card uh, we need to import it inside our single board okay so we defined a new component board card uh, like here and then uh, we created that component inside component and we loaded imported it here and then we use it here so board card will be used here so that way we get it now let's go to that um, board card here and so here we uh, will accept that prop as a props so that will be lists this list not lists so we are handling uh, for single component and we just need to handle for simple component a uh, single component and all other will populate accordingly now let's uh, cards let's assign that to card so when this is created so this dot cards equals to this dot list dot cards now let's uh, yeah it, it is taking shape so that is a good thing so single board inside single board we got board card and each card uh, contains necessary cards okay cool now we need to display their name okay let's uh, do that so item since that to card so okay yeah that's cool okay so uh, so displaying uh, we are displaying everything so read part is done now we need to uh, focus on create uh, update and delete so I'll see you in the next video bye